Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. Um, I've had a lot of requests since I announced in my lineup that I was going to be printing my own planner parts. Um, I've had a lot of requests to know how I was going to do my divider pages. So, I mean, I, I print it, it's, it's a little convoluted, but I did print my own pages for my wellness planner, but I printed my own dividers for my catch-all planner. So um, I'm going to show you how I did that, how I laminated my tabs. I have three different ways to laminate the tabs, um, two of which I came up with after I did these because these were a pain. Oh my gosh, I am not going to recommend that you guys do them this way. But anyway, let's talk about what you're going to need. So this is index card, basically cardstock thickness of paper. It feels to me basically the same as the Happy Planner ones. So what it is, is I found this on Amazon and I will link it in the description box. It is bright white cardstock paper, 110 pound, um, eight and a half by 11. So full size, full sheet size, but it feels 110 pound feels about as thick as Happy Planner. Um, it's made for laser, inkjet, copier. You can use it in any of those. So that's what I went with. Um, this is a 300 page pack. Um, it's a lot of paper, but anyway, 110 pound bright white for a printer. Um, that's what I recommend. Uh, as far as the January, you can print that part or you can use stickers or you can hand letter it. Um, I, I, there are several options out there. Happy Planner makes some. Um, if you get an undated planner, these are actually from an undated planner I got years ago from Happy Planner. They give you two copies, so you have one for each side of the tab. Um, but Mojo Jojo Plans has both a black and white and a color. Um, Keleva Plan has a new dated basics. This is volume two. Um, I don't have her first one actually, but they all have the little words that you need to put on your index tabs. Um, those are, here we go. So like rainbow colored ones, um, little tiny, here's black and white ones. So the little ones that you need, um, these are clear. They're definitely small enough to put on the tab so you could do whatever font you want. You're gonna want clear if you print a color. Um, so paper tabs, and then you need laminating sheets. Now, um, the covers of a Happy Planner, these, this I made myself, but this is 10 mil. The other thing you can do, now a laminating machine capable of doing 10 mil, um, they're like $200. So um, before I invested in that, I actually got, uh, I had a $20 Amazon Basics laminating machine. You can get them at Walmart and they will do up to five mil. So I used 10 mil, which I will get into later in the video for this, but that is way, way, way too thick. Three mil or five mil is what you need for this. So your basic entry level $20 laminating machine is um, gonna be plenty to get this done. All right, so we are going to switch over. I'm gonna show you how to do this part, how to figure out what you're gonna print in Canva. Um, I highly recommend either printing a plain, uh, uh, just a dot grid or a plain generic um, uh, set of boxes. I have made the decision to use dot grid paper of some color for my calendar every year next year. I've just been having so much fun with date dots um, that I'm going to use this. This is not the highest quality. I will not recommend this. I wanted gray though for January and so I found this on Amazon and as you can see Maybe you can't see, but there are stripes. So I think the easiest, best thing to do is gonna be just a print dot grid on the back side of your tab. So let's switch over to Canva. All right, so here we are in Canva. Um, I have just created a new project that is, it says right here, it's letterhead. You can see my mouse up here in the upper right hand corner. Um, just anything that is a deep by default, eight and a half by 11, a full size sheet of paper. Um, I have two pages. So basically what I did was measure the Happy Planner divider. It should be nine and a quarter by uh, seven wide plus the tab. And then I just colored the background 
solid, um, picking up a color that's in the page, and put a white box over top. And then if you have whatever picture you have, you can put on top of that. The other option that you can do, and when you drag this little box, it tells you, you have a little pop up there, see it below and to the right of my cursor, it tells you what size your little box is. And you can tell it to automatically center. I'm gonna hit undo there to get it back where it was. But um, for example, you could do a picture. There are lots and lots of free pictures on the internet. There are lots of free pictures within Canva. So I'm gonna click on this one. Um, and then all you need to do, you can it'll automatically snap to the corners. Um, but keeping in mind that this is gonna be too big uh, you're going to end up cutting some of this off and punching some of this because this is eight and a half by 11 and it's actually bigger than what you need for your happy planner tab. But as you can see, I kind of put it to the side here and then we're going to get a lot of this picture. You could write some words on here. Um, if you come over all the way, I'm all the way over here on the left where it says text, you can add, um, fancy text to your, there we go. So, uh, Kate and Charlie are engaged. You could put Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah or something like that. Um, I'm not sure why my picture went away. Uh, let's see. If I delete all this, there we go. It just got moved to the very, very back. But you can, you know, you could put Merry Christmas or December or Happy Hanukkah or whatever you want. Just again, keeping in mind that this is bigger than the, than the box you're going to need. Um, you may not want... Just undoing to get back to where I was. There we go. So that's kind of why I did this. I knew whatever was inside this white box would be not cut off because I would be cutting above and below and to the side. Like I said, you can, you can turn your text. So if we put text on there again, you can turn it. Use this little arrow, double arrow to turn it. So you could type that really, really small, put January in there, just pick a, a plain text. Um, so for example, add a subheading, add a little bit of body text. So that's nice and tiny. You could write January in there. If you wanted, turn it sideways. We can change the color. See this little rainbow under the letter A that says text color. You can come in here and turn it white. That way, if you put it over a, a dark place, um, it'll show up. But I think if, if you don't want to mess with all of that, you can go as simple as picking a picture, slapping it on there, and then cutting it down to size. Um, I also played with a grid. I measured these. It took forever and a lot, a lot, a lot of wasted test prints but I did um, put a, grid, a generic grid on the back. Um, I, I think the easiest thing to do is to just print a plain old dot grid on the back. So I'm gonna spit out a couple of test prints, just super generic, so that we can, not using much planner ink, um, maybe I'll go ahead and put that picture on the front. Why don't I go ahead and put that picture on the front so coming back over here to photos, recently used, let's just slap this one on there again. So all I did is let it snap to the top corner and then stretch this down so that it fills the whole page. And what we'll do is we'll, uh, um, so the reason it keeps disappearing is because it's, it's, since I made it the full page, it's automatically going to the back. So I need to send everything in front of it to the back. So if we send that to the back and then we send this to the back, well, okay, it's not taking it because um, it's automatically defaulting it to background and that's okay. We'll just, um, there, we'll leave it like that. So now I'm just gonna print a couple copies of this so that we can talk more about the tabs. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and throw a little text on there. Why not? We'll get rid of this. I don't want that. Just deleting that. And let's just put Merry 
Christmas. In case you want this to be your Christmas and then it's left justified right now. There we go. Now it's it's only centering Christmas. I need to center all of it. So I'm just going to grab all of it and hit center. There we go. All right, so just so we have something to play with. So I'm going to print a couple copies of this and I'll be right back. Okay, so step one, I just printed these on thin paper, lowest print quality I could because this is just for demonstration purposes. So um, when you're feeding into your printer, do just like you would do with sticker paper, right? So when you put the paper in, you want the side you're gonna print on to be down because the way it goes into your printer, it gets pulled in and turned and the printing goes on this side, the back side, because your print head is over here. It's going in, it's turning print, 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 print. So that's, so just like you would do your sticker paper, the side that you want to print on goes down. So I put them in, I printed three copies, and then I put them back in my printer. Um, with this now printed side up because I wanted to print on the back side and I printed one with a grid one with a set of calendar boxes and Two it's really really faint But it's it's just a grid so I don't know if I'm going to even be able to get you guys to be able to see that there is a grid there Yeah, see the dots you can just barely see them so um, for example, I pr I have the Baker Lane Studio wellness planner that I'm using for next year. And she, conveniently enough, at the very beginning and the very end, she has a dot grid page. And so those are great if you want to just draw your own calendar like I've been doing the last few months in my um, social media plan because I used like the craft paper and I did the blackout in October and I did um, green paper for Christmas. I will link one of those in the cards up above. But if you go to my monthly planning um, playlist, you'll be able to see them. So whatever you're going to put on the back, like I said, the absolute simplest is just the dot grid. And then you can draw that in. Um, so the first thing you want to do, I just grabbed an old tab um, it's got the tab at the front because at the top because think about if you think about it for a classic size happy planner there are four tabs and they just work their way down and then start over um, so you're gonna want to cut this so I want my Merry Christmas all to show height doesn't make a difference you're gonna want to cut it the right height for a happy planner page so you can just start with that um, so I'm just I'm just going to cut the three of these at the right height for a happy planner page. So in my particular case, I have my normal page width and height marked. Don't cut this the normal width though, because we need that tab to stick out. So let's start by cutting it to the right height. I'm just going to go ahead and cut all three of these together. Cause like I said, this is for my video. This is to show you guys what, what's what, um, it is not, going to end up in my planner. I did tell it to do borderless printing so that my printing would go right to the edge of the page, or at least as close to the edge of the page as my printer is capable of doing, which I have a um, an eco tank. I absolutely adore it. Like I said, this was the lowest quality print set setting, and it still looks pretty fantastic. So, all right. Now, on the one where, so the dot grid doesn't matter. It goes from edge to edge, it doesn't matter. This one, obviously I should have paid more attention because I chopped off the bottom of my grid, but uh, you know, like I said, I this is for demonstration purposes, so. All right, so then since I put Merry Christmas kind of in the center, if I leave this and punch it right at the edge, it's going to get chopped off. So I need to cut a little bit off of this edge to get that all that wording to show up on my page. The normal part of the page, not the tab. So I need to cut about three-fourths of that Christmas ornament off. So I'm just going to eyeball it. All right. So the most important thing for me, at least, in my opinion, is getting this tab 
laminated. So what I did, and I do not recommend doing it this way, I got this tab puncher and I tried to cut three mil and five mil laminate sheets with it. And they're just so flimsy and flexible, it wouldn't cut through them. It just kind of curved them around the die and it didn't cut anything. So then I tried 10 mil sheets. And the first time it went mostly through, um, and I tried double thickness, I tried single thickness, but I mean, just that fast, it wasn't sharp enough to go through. It would kind of make sort of the outline. And so then I spent, oh my gosh, a couple hours, like with my X-Acto knife, I traced around them and I cut them out. Um, and so I ended up with this shape in 10 mil laminate, single sheet, 10 mil laminate. Um, and then what you do, what I did was, okay, first let's talk about what we're, we need to do. So what you need to do is cut your sheet so that you're right at the top of the tab. Cut, go ahead and cut this off so that your page is as wide as your tab. It includes your tab, the whole strip. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut all three of these to be as wide as my strip. There we go, all right? Let's go ahead and punch them real quick too, just so that we stay oriented. All right, so remember, these are cut to be as wide as my divider, plus including my tab. See how wide that is? So then what I did was I used my punch to get, if you, one of these, right? So this is basically the tab. It's a little smaller, but then I folded and I cut it out of this piece of paper so you could see what I was doing. So if you imagine that this is actually this, this filmy laminate stuff and it's smooth and shiny on the outside and the gumminess that melts in the laminator is the frosted side. So I folded each one of these little punches and it took a lot to crease it. I had to like use a creasing tool to really press on it and get it creased, all right? And then I just decided where my spot was. I put my January, or in this case, let's see, this is December, so it would actually be down here, but we'll just pretend it's January, right? Um, so use a sticker or um, using a pen or pre-printed, whatever it's gonna be. So we'll just pretend I have a sticker on here There we go. So if that's my sticker, then I just took the laminate, the folded paper, and I centered it on there, because you remember, you're gonna be able to see through it, right? And then to keep it from moving, I put this inside a manila folder, put the bent part, the folded part, in here at the back, line everything up, right? Close the folder and then feed the whole thing through your laminator. And that's going to keep anything from getting stuck in the wheels. It's going to keep anything from moving and sliding around. And you're going to end up with a laminated piece. All right. Then you just cut this out. That's all you have to do is just cut that out. So let me go ahead and run this through my laminator. Well, I'm not actually gonna do it because I would have to spend quite a while cutting this out. But basically then when this comes off, you have plain unlaminated paper and your, your laminated paper, let me just draw the outline. We'll just draw this on, right? So the, inside that, that's where my lamination is and it just kind of ends right? It looks like that. And so basically that's what you have from Happy Planner. See how that looks, how that matches where the lamination is. And so then I just put it here on my cutter and I kind of cut close to there and close to there. And then I used an X-Acto knife to cut the curves. So you're just going to cut the paper off up pretty close. And same thing here, pretty close. And then you can use an X-Acto knife, you can use scissors, but you just basically cut 
right up to right along the edge of the of the laminate of the lamination. So I just kind of did that. There we go. So remember this is shiny. There's laminate. It's laminated right there. And that's how I did with 10 mil laminate, which was way, way, way too thick. But that's how I did this. And you can kind of see, you can kind of see the edge of it right there. See, when I get it to shine just right, you can see where the lamination is. So that's how I did my tabs. Oh my gosh, was that the hard way. Um, I have thought of a few easier ways to do it now. So the next option is to not punch. Um, to take just a scrap piece of three or five mil laminate. So these are some scrap pieces I had from a trifolder thing that I made a while back. All right, so uh, it is two-sided, but I only need one side, okay? So what, I'm, what I would do is make it basically twice as tall. And it, it's about the right height. So all we need to do then is cut it as wide as I need it to be, right? So if we measure this, it is almost exactly two and a half inches wide. So I'm just gonna chop two and a half inches off of this. Not the sealed end, I want two separate pieces. Okay, they're square, I know. But now I've got two individual rectangles, right? So remember, the melty stuff is the fuzzy side. The non-melty stuff is the shiny side. So what you're gonna do now is you could pre-cut this, right? Cut it out just like I've got it. Obviously, I wouldn't want my pen lines to show. But, and then take a piece of this. We're gonna fold it in half just like I did before, super hard crease, okay? So I'm gonna just use something to kinda crease that hard. Put it on the hard part of my desk, just rub across there, you can't see what I'm doing. So just helping cement my crease in, okay? Then we can stick this over our labeled and ready to go tab, right like that, Again, we stick it in the folder, right? So I've got it, I've got it centered on my little tab. It comes down past the edge of the page, just like on the Happy Planner. Put this right up into the bend of the folder so it holds it all together. Send it through my laminator, right like that. Third thing we can do, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this and laminate that real quick. Third thing we can do is let's go ahead and write December on here one more time in the right spot or January. Let's write January this time. And it's kind of up to you which way you think is the easiest. And incidentally, you wanna make sure and do both sides, right? So let's go ahead and do both sides on this one. So remember, right at the edge because you already cut this to be the size that includes the tab. So sticker, printing, writing, however you wanna do it. There, I've got January on both sides. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my other piece. This is, remember this is method number three. So there's no tab cut out yet. So I'm folding this in half, shiny side out, right? I'm gonna crease it really, really hard. Get that crease nice and sharp. Okay, and then Without the tab being cut, just stick this on there, all the way down, crease to crease, inside my folder, just like the other one, and laminate it. So I'm gonna run these through my laminator real quick, you don't need to see that, and I'll be back, okay? So I've got it shoved right, this one we pre-cut the paper, this one we didn't pre-cut the paper. And neither one of them did we pre-cut the curves in the laminating pouch. I just have it as wide as I need it to be for that tab. All right, so after running through my laminator, and you can do more than one, um, this is what I ended up with, are two different options. So this one, you can see the entire tra uh, rectangle there on both sides, since I folded it in half, both sides are laminated. 
And same thing with this one. Now this one I had the pen lines, but since I used my friction, <laughs> they went away from the heat of the laminator. Those little lines are gone. I don't even have to erase them. So um, then all that's left to do is in the case of this one, if you chose to do this style, all you have to do is cut that laminate, cut that extra clear plastic away, which is easy to do because you're using nice thin little lamination pouches, three or the five mil, depending on what you chose to go with, just cutting out along the paper edge. You don't need to worry about the lamination bubble. There we go. So that one's done. Um, and it looks, it's the same thickness. I mean, I did just normal paper, but if you use that 110, there you go, you're done. You've got, you've got your page there. Um, it's, it's not lined up exactly right, but I mean, it would be pretty easy to do so. Same thing, now the only difference then with this one is I need to trace my curve, right? So I could line these up and cut cut my curves. I could do them like this. I could draw it on there with a pen and then cut the line off. That might be the easiest way to do it. So I can use a little um, a micron, a, per a little small little permanent marker and just trace where I need to cut on both sides. There we go. Make sure I cut all of the line off. And again, you can use an X-Acto knife. You can use your scissors like I'm doing. It cuts just as easily, regardless of whether you do laminated or unlaminated. I just cut right to here. Then I can use my paper trimmer to cut the last of it off and I'm done. There we go. So that is three ways to do tabs. Um, these two are the most significant different ways. I think they both look pretty good. Um, the only problem with this one is you do run the risk of not quite getting all of the pen off. I can see just a tiny little bit of black pen there, but I can trim that off. So probably the simplest way to do it is, is the third way, where you just put your, rect your rectangular piece of lamination over your January, laminate it, and then cut the strip off. But there we go. There are three different ways to create tabs, just like Happy Planner, and then obviously you're going to work your way January, February, March, April, May, June, July, just like a normal Happy Planner. So um, I hope that gives you some ideas how you can m do your own um, tabs with lamination. Again, this feels about the same, um, three to five mil. So you can do this. You can invest in what you need to do this pre pretty um, inexpensively. So, and you can see there again if you look super closely at your super at your Happy Planner tabs. The lamination bubble, it just is just that rectangle, just what I have here. So there we go. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to um, get artsy, craftsy, do your own um, uh, dividers. You can make them look like anything you want. Um, if you have the patience, you can play with the sizing and the placement of a grid like this. You can even put in the days of the week if you want. You can buy... Um, a planner printable that actually has this already and print it. It's just a matter of getting this side lined up with this side. Uh, if, if you have the patience for doing something like that, go for it. If not, the easiest thing to do is just a dot grid on the back side. And then you can do like me and you can draw your own grid in. You can have fun with date dot stickers um, and just, just just have at it. You don't have to do the entire year at a time, right? Just do a month or two when time permits um, to stay ahead of, of where you are in your planner. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please help me grow my channel by liking, subscribing, dropping me any kind of a comment, even just a smiley face. All those interactions with um, my YouTube videos help me with the YouTube algorithm and help me grow my channel. Thank you.